in a yellow submarine. Hey, I told you guys one time before, if you like, comment, and share, I'll stop singing. Subscribe too, because I know if you like this content, we want to make sure you know, that we're getting in touch with you. Ring that notification bell so you know when we put out new content. This is something that's a little bit different in that this home is actually called the Yellow Submarine, by the way, but it hasn't quite been finished yet. And we purposefully chose this home because there's a couple of things we wanna show you that I think you'll be interested in. So as we pointed out earlier, because this home hasn't been completely put together yet, it gives us some opportunities to talk about some things that you don't normally get to see when a home's been finished and put together. First thing I want to talk with you guys about is the marriage line. Modern manufactured housing comes in at least two pieces. Those two pieces are put together and finished once the home is delivered to your property. So where those two pieces come together, that's called the marriage line. And typically in manufactured housing, you have two sides to the home, at least, right? You have what's called a wet side, which is over here, and we'll take a look at that in a minute. You have what's called the dry side, and where those two come together, you have your marriage line. So this will be covered up with carpet. This side of the home, um, or this side of the room, rather, will have carpet. This side has got solid surface linoleum flooring in it. So let's take a look at um, let's take a look at a couple of other options that we might not normally get to see in a home that's been put together. One of the things that keeps costs lower in a manufactured home compared to other housing options is the fact that they've systematized, is that a word systematized? System They've done a really good job of figuring out how to do things in a certain order in order to cut down costs for you guys. So one of the things that I find interesting is you have what's called the wet half or the wet side and you have the dry side. So to minimize the amount of plumbing that's used, all of the plumbing is on this side of the house. So we've got the kitchen over here, obviously. We'll have bathrooms. We'll have We'll have showers, toilet facilities, and things like that, and those are all happening on this side of the house. Very, very rarely are you ever going to find, unless it's a custom floor plan or something, where plumbing crosses the marriage line. And so this would be the wet side of the house, and this will be the dry side. So this is not just something that's exclusively visible because we don't have carpet on the floor, but it does give us an opportunity to look at something that might otherwise go um, unnoticed. And that is the location of the air vents in a room is extremely important when we start talking about different ways to increase the comfort in a room. So when you go into a manufactured home, pay attention to perimeter floor vents. Now what that does is, if you'll think about the windows in a room, are going to be the place where you see the most thermal loss. In hot weather months, the windows are going to get warm. In cold weather months, they're going to, there's going to be a bit of temperature convection um, and conduction that goes on here. So if you position your vents right under or right near the windows, then that coupled with a ceiling fan will allow you to create a convection in the room. It also reduces the chances of your windows fogging up or frosting up in cold weather. So perimeter vents for the HVAC system, super important in making the home more energy efficient.
So ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jason Collins. I'm here representing manufacturedhomes.com at Homes Direct in Paris, California. We just wanted to pop into this one before things got finished and give you guys a look at, you know, some of the things you might not see um, on a regular basis. We need your help though. We wanna make sure that we're producing content that is appealing to you. Drop down in the comments section and let us know what you'd like to see. Let us know what you like so far or let us know what you don't like because we're always interested in improving. Jason Collins, ManufacturedHomes.com. Have a great day.